He's a Disney legend who began his career in 1955 working with Walt Disney himself at Disneyland. And for 30 years, from 1974, he was a creative leader of Walt Disney Imagineering. He's the vice, he was the vice chairman and the principal creative executive there. He is the only Disney cast member to participate in every opening of our 11 theme parks worldwide. Wow. He was inducted as a Disney legend in 2001. You can see his influence in every single Disney park and in the careers uh, and the creative philosophy of almost every designer and showman in our industry. It is our pleasure to introduce to you the Executive Vice President and Imaginary Ambassador, Disney legend, Marty Sklar.
along with my friend and colleague at the Walt Disney Studio, Erwin Oaken, we expressed this dream through the words we wrote for our Chief Executive Officer, E. Carden Walker, for Epcot's dedication plaque. To all who, who come to this place of joy, hope, and friendship, welcome. Epcot is inspired by Walt Disney's creative vision. Here, human achievements are celebrated through imagination, wonders of enterprise, and concepts of a future that promises new and exciting benefits for all. May Epcot Center entertain, inform, and inspire, and above all, may it instill a new sense of belief and pride in man's ability to shape a world that offers hope to people everywhere. I hope you believe, as I do, that Epcot has fulfilled that mission. 25 years ago, we said the 21st century began on October 1, 1982. Today, on October 1, 2007, we rededicate Epcot and ourselves to a new future that begins now. Tracy, I'll never forget that opening day of Epcot. There were dignitaries and cultural representatives from all over the world. And one of the things I remember the most was a, a water pouring ceremony to start the Communicor Fountain behind us. Don't you think it would be wonderful if we could do something like that today? Yeah. 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 Yeah.